Enjoy your lunch, children. Cream cheese. Pickles. Raisins. Julian, what is that? Peanut butter calzone. Julian, a calzone is pizza crust, tomato sauce, cheese. And peanut butter. Mmm. Wanna cry? No, thank you. Hi, Francine. What's that? It's a bento box. From Japan. Star fruit. Chicken saute. Itty bitty baby corn. Pudding. Chocolate. Whoa, cool spoon. Cool fork. It's both. It's a spork. Oh, wow. A spork. And this is a Brussels sprout from Belgium in Europe. And you like them? At my house, they're delicious. Really? Yes. At my house, everything is just perfect. Olivia, you simply must come to my house for dinner. Really? Will there be Brussels sprouts? Oh, no. We never have the same food twice in one year. Well, I'd love to come. Thank you. I'll have my mother call your mother. <laughs> Remember to always say thank you. Thank you. Now, this is your napkin, and it goes on your lap. And Perry, always chew with your mouth closed. At a fancy dinner party, everything needs to be perfect. Miss Francine is expecting you. Wow. Wow. Please, Miss Olivia, allow me. Thank you. Olivia, you've come at last. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you, too, Francine. Mwah. I do hope you like pink lemonade. I adore anything that's pink. It's time for the entertainment. <laughs> Olivia! Dinner time! Spaghetti and meatballs, my favorite. Don't you look nice? Huh? Thank you, Mother. Ian, would you pull out the chair, please? Sure. <sighs> Here you go. Rule of life number three. If you have to sit next to a little brother eating spaghetti, you'd better wear a raincoat. <laughs> Perry, that's my meatball. Come on, Perry, drop it. Ian, there are plenty of meatballs. But that's the best one, that one. I'll take that. Oh, Mom. I am quite sure they do not eat like this at Francine's. What? We 
don't want to be late for Francine's. They start dinner at precisely 7.05. We'll have big, tall chairs, wonderful tablecloths, and at Francine's, we'll use sporks. Sporks? Sporks. Fancy. You'll remember your manners, right? Mom. And please be sure to invite Francine to our house for dinner, too. It's the polite thing to do. Dinner? At our house? Why not? Because, Mom. Look. <sighs> Welcome to our cave. This is where you live? Yes, but only for a while, until houses are invented. Let's go make cave drawings. <laughs> yeah. Can I keep him, Mom? Please? No, Ian, because I'll end up having to clean up after him. Aw, oh, he won't make a mess. Will you, Spot? <laughs> Dinner's ready. You know, I'm not really hungry, thank you. Ugh. Francine, wait, look. We have sporks. Olivia? Olivia? Why, thank you, Olivia. But I have a rule about no fresh flowers in the house. They make a big mess when their petals drop. Oh, okay. Now, be sure to wipe your feet. Mustn't have footprints on the white carpet. Olivia! You're finally here! Hi, Francine! Girls, no shouting, please. Hi, Francine. Thanks for having me over. There's still plastic on these chairs. Did your mother forget to unwrap them? It's to keep them clean. But it makes your legs stick. Olivia, I assume you like Brussels sprouts. Mmm, Brussels sprouts. The other day, my cat Edwin stole Ian's goldfish out of the bowl. But he dropped it and William found it and almost ate it. Until my mother saw and scooped the fish up and put it back in the bowl. <laughs> <clears throat> That's quite a story, Olivia. But it's really not the kind of thing we talk about at the dinner table. And certainly not all that laughing. Oops. Oops. Are you mad at me? Why would I be mad? Because of the Brussels sprouts and no laughing at the table and, well, I was afraid you wouldn't be my friend anymore. Of course we're still friends. Come on, let's clean up. We're glad you could come for dinner, Francine. I've never seen anyone do that before. Oh, Ian always eats like that. <sighs> Try it. Race you. <laughs> hey, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, slow down, kids. Slow down. <laughs> Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. Mom, can we have spaghetti night tomorrow, too? No, honey, not tomorrow. The next night? Hmm, a little too soon, wouldn't you say? Two nights after that? Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. Okay, everyone, I'm ready to go. How long will you be gone, Dad? 
Oh, it's a short business trip, honey. I'll be back in two days, which is 48 hours, or 2,880 minutes, or 172,800 seconds. Or, well, let's see, what percentage of a year is that? In 12 months, you, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, why don't you figure that out on the way to the airport? You don't want to miss your plane. Bye, dear. <laughs> Bye, Dad. <laughs> I'll miss you, Dad. Mm, I'll miss you too, Olivia. Oh, uh, one last picture before I go. Sure. <laughs> there. And when I get back, I want you to tell me everything that happened while I was gone. Okay, Dad. Presenting Olivia at Breakfast. Presenting Olivia and her family at breakfast. Ian, don't gulp the milk, just sip it. Olivia, your eggs are ready. <laughs> what are you doing with the camera? I'm making a video diary of what happens while Dad's gone. And Dad loves breakfast. Well, that's nice, sweetheart, but you still need to eat your breakfast. Okay, Mom. Why are you wearing roller skates? They match my outfit. <sighs> Today on the A Day in the Life of Olivia show. Mom is making toast. William is playing with toast. And Ian is... <laughs> being Ian. Hmm. And now, I present to you the mysterious eating habits of the Little Brother. Exhibit A. Hmm. Exhibit B. But with some work, he can be turned into Exhibit C. <laughs> Presenting Ian with the hiccups. Time for school, kids. Just one more picture before I go. Okay, Julian, let's set up the camera. Presenting Olivia at School. Today on the A Day in the Life of Olivia show, Mrs. Hogenmuller is teaching us about... What is she teaching us today? Cowbells. Where's the zoom button? Right here. Um, does it zoom out too? Olivia, Julian, Yodelay. Time for me to teach you. Why is there a camera? I'm making a video diary for my dad. It's a home project. Like a school project. But for home. Oh. And you're teaching about music, and dad loves music. Well, I... I guess it's all right then. So, we're learning about cowbells. Yes. <gasps> Isn't that a lovely tone? Cows used to wear cowbells so herdsmen would know where they were. Cowbells are also musical instruments. By hitting different parts of a cowbell or holding your hand over the end, you can make different notes. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Present to you my musical masterpiece featuring the cowbell. <laughs> Rule of life number 53. When playing a cowbell, never underestimate the importance of enthusiasm. Olivia! 
Olivia! Thank you for that. Interesting version of Mary Had a Little Lamb. You're welcome. Okay, Olivia, it's recording. Hey, Dad. Now, presenting Olivia at the Playground. Julian, you'd get a great angle if you'd climb up beside me. I have a good angle. And I'm fine here on the ground, where it's steady and stable and not too high. Whee! Ta-da! Oh, look! Today on the A Day in the Life of Olivia show, we're joined by twins, Oscar and Otto. Actually, I'm Otto. And I'm Oscar. Well, you look exactly alike. That's, That's because, because we're, we're twins. twins. Yes. Swinging twins. And now, I present to you the magical swinging talents of twins, Oscar and Otto. Actually, I'm Oscar. And I'm Otto. Like I said, they're twins. for being in my video, twins. It's cool. So, we're learning about cowbells. Your dad will love this video diary, Olivia. It shows everything he missed while he was gone. It's good, but it feels like it's missing something. Like what, a name? Some tuna? A big ending. Dad loves a big ending. And that's what happened while you were away, Dad. <laughs> so, what did you think of our video journal? Oh, sweetheart, what a great job. We're very, very proud of you. Well, that was quite something. Oh, yes, thank you, Olivia. That was very... Wait, there's one more thing. A big ending. Hit it, Julian. Welcome home, Dad. You were gone and now you're not. I can't tell the twins apart. And we really missed you a lot. Welcome home, Dad. You went on a business trip. Playing cowbells is so hip. Mom told Ian, don't gulp, just sip. Welcome home, Dad. I'm glad you're back because I missed you. The days you were gone ended up to two. I want to say I love you. Welcome. Welcome home, Dad. Bravo. Now I feel like I didn't miss a thing. Bravo, Olivia. Bravo, Julian. Thank you, honey, for the video diary and the song. You mean the big ending. Ah, uh, quite right, the big ending. I'm very proud of you, Olivia. I'm proud of you too, Dad. And I'm glad you're home. Me too. Mm. Class, by planting this tree, we are helping make our planet healthier. Does anyone know why? Julian? Trees help make oxygen, and oxygen is what people breathe. That's a gold star answer, Julian. That is why we are planting this tree for Earth Day. We are also all going to try and waste less to help Mother Nature. We're all going to go wash our hands now. If 
we don't wash our hands, we won't waste water. I think it's better for Mother Nature if we stay dirty. Wasting less is very important, but Mother Nature does not like dirt on children's hands. So everybody to the sink and then home. Let's find other ways to help Mother Nature by wasting less. What you doing? I'm helping Mother Nature by wasting less. I'm putting the boxes for glass, paper, and plastic where we won't forget about them. Cool, recycling. Here, plastic, glass, and paper. No, Ian, this is for stuff we're done with. They'll pick it up and it'll get used for something else. Now it's time for Operation Help Mother Nature. How are you gonna do that? Quietly. Where's my paper? <laughs> oh, darling, is the electricity out in the whole house? We don't want to waste water. Hey! <laughs> Olivia! Did you put these here? I wanted to put them where we could see them and recycle. Olivia, honey, trying to save energy and recycle is a wonderful thing, but you need to learn a word called moderation. I already know the word moderation. Moder who? Moderation means... I'll take it from here, Dad. Moderation means not too much one way or the other, or not doing something too much. Exactly. Everyone into the car, we're having dinner out tonight. Can we walk to the restaurant instead of taking the car? It would be better for Mother Nature if we don't use all that gasoline. Well... It is a lovely evening. All right, let's all take a walk. If I take my tricycle, will that use up energy? <laughs> Only your own. Ah, just think, kids, if we were in the car right now, we wouldn't see all these beautiful stars. Look, there's Pegasus, the winged horse. Hmm. Oh, and look, there's, there's Gemini, the twins. And if you squint your eyes, you can see planet Olivia. Olivia, we don't want to be late to the restaurant. You know what? Walking to dinner was a terrific idea. And we didn't waste any gas. Rule of life number 44. Sometimes children know better than their parents. But we don't ever tell them that. Well, it's time for bed, Ian. Night, Ian. Don't turn off my light. I have to turn it off. You're wasting electricity. You waste things tonight you didn't finish your dinner. That's different. I brought it home so I could eat it tomorrow. Don't turn it off. I'm afraid of the dark. I know. I'll sleep in your room with you and then you won't be scared. Okay. Mom, I'm sleeping in Ian's room tonight. Not on a school night, Olivia. There must be some way to help you sleep with the lights off. Hmm. We're going to use my fabulous invention to help you sleep. Okay. Here we go. This is a special glow-in-the-dark helmet, just like astronauts who are afraid of the dark use. Olivia, I don't think I can fall asleep like this. Of course you can. No, I can't. <sighs> Fine, I'll wear it. to sleep. I'm trying. <sighs> Finally. Cool. Fireflies. Where are you going? Ian, there's nothing to be scared of. Everything is the same in the dark as it is with the lights on. Come on and just try it for tonight. I know you can do it. Okay. Okay, I'll try. Olivia, 
Bedtime. Okay. Ian. Here's how I'm helping Mother Nature. Cat litter made from recycled sawdust for my cat's litter box. Now, who can tell me how they're helping Mother Nature? Yes, Olivia? I'm going to figure out a way to get my little bother to sleep with the lights off. You mean your little brother? No, I mean my little bother. Well, that's very nice, Olivia. We need another solution to your sleep problem. Hmm. This is my special knock-knock machine. Did you hear that? That means help. I heard it! See? All you've got to do is knock three times if you get scared, and I'll come right in. Will you come really fast? Really fast. What's the matter now? I think there's something in the closet. It's just your clothes and toys. Well, could you close the closet door? There, all closed. Now go to sleep. <sighs> What's wrong? I think there's something under my bed. Only good things are under the bed. Could you check? Oh, there is something here. What is it? It's furry. Furry? <laughs> it's only Edwin. Good night. <sighs> good night. On cereal. Did you two use all your energy saving energy? <laughs> Get it? Oh. <sighs> we need a new idea for tonight. <sighs> you could say that again. If only there was something that gave light without using energy. How about a flashlight? That uses up batteries. I need to think of something. <gasps> Fireflies! Of course! We'll have to let them out in the morning, but we can get new ones tomorrow night. You did it! Now we can sleep without the lights on! And you're not wasting electricity. And I can get some sleep. By the way, whistling is an excellent way to play music without using electricity. <laughs> I'm very proud of you for everything you're doing to help us not waste things. I'm proud of me too. Mwah. Could I have one more story? Mm, tomorrow. It's time for bed now. Good night, Olivia. <laughs>